President-elect Obama, better stop making so many verbal gaffes, better start speaking like President Bush. Yeah, that President Bush. But first, because they're not going away soon enough, the headlines breaking in the administration's 50 running scandals. Bush. Number three, open the floodgates gate. Wired magazine with an impressive piece on how on or about January 20th we're likely to get an incredible surge of detail about Mr. Bush's abuses of the so-called terrorist surveillance program. You know, domestic eavesdropping, listening in on military phone sex, that internet splitter room in San Francisco. Some sort of Obama-led commission? No. Whistleblowers. A lot of career employees in the intelligence agencies will be glad to see Obama take the oath so they can finally speak out against all this illegal spying and get back to their real mission, says a legislative director of the ACLU. The great investigative reporter Cy Hirsch is a little bit more direct. You cannot believe how many people have told me to call them on January 20th. They say, you want to know about abuses and violations? Call me then. Number two, bailout gate. Like I said yesterday, now we call it the bailout. Later we'll call it, why daddy went to jail. I'm guessing it's going to start at AIG. You will remember that as we loaned the insurance company $85 billion, it was spending $440,000 on a luxury retreat for company executives in California. Now AIG has done it again. Another gathering at another luxury resort, this time at Squaw Peak Resort in Phoenix last week, just as AIG was insisting the government give it $40 billion more, presumably for hors d'oeuvres. And number one, the nexus of politics, terror, and... Laziness gate? The Justice Department has audited the records of its own prosecutors at the U.S. Attorney's offices around the country who were working on terrorism cases. It has discovered we, the taxpayers, paid for 250 terror prosecutors. We got 204 terror prosecutors. What happened to the other 46 guys? They apparently were repurposed and went out and prosecuted health care fraud and drug trafficking? So we turned the fabric of the nation inside out to hype terror, and the Bush administration won re-election and ran the midterms in 06 on a counter-terror platform, and it's been hitting over the last few weeks that there are not enough U.S. attorneys out there to check on whether or not any of the bailout companies actually were ripping us off, and they didn't even utilize these resources we gave them? There is in here one kernel of good news. The Justice Department official in charge of those 94 U.S. attorney's offices explains that one of the reasons all 250 of the terror prosecutors weren't prosecuting terrorists was because investigators referred fewer national security cases for prosecution. In other words, when we all looked at these crackpots who thought they could blow up JFK Airport by starting a fire near a gas pipeline 25 miles away, or the morons who expected to sneak into Fort Dix as pizza delivery guys, kill soldiers, even though all the soldiers had these big guns, and still get out alive, those were the terror plots plausible enough to prosecute. The other ones? All the other ones are really far-fetched.